Indonesian street food is a collection of ready-to-eat meals, snacks, fruits and drinks sold by hawkers or vendors at warung food stalls or food carts. Street food in Indonesia is a diverse mix of local Indonesian, Chinese, and Dutch influences. Indonesian street food are usually cheap, offer a great variety of food of different tastes, and can be found on every corner of the city. Most Indonesian street food is affordable, with prices usually less than a US dollar However, there are also some street foods that are priced more than Rp. US dollar. Indonesian street food often colloquially called as kaki lima Indonesian for five feet or jajanan kaki lima, five feet buys, which refer to five-foot way pedestrian sidewalks along the street that often occupied by street hawkers selling food. In 2015, the cooperatives, micro, small and medium enterprises and trade agency recorded that Jakarta has around 56,000 street vendors and the spaces available for them reached just 18,000. The rest occupies the city's kaki lima pedestrian. S sidewalks. The agency noted that the actual number is a lot bigger. Indonesian street food often tastes rather strong and spicy. A lot of street food in Indonesia are fried, such as assorted gorengan, fritters, also nasi goreng, fried rice, mie goreng, fried noodles, and ayam goreng, fried chicken. While bakso meatball soup, traditional soto soups, and fruit rujak are also popular. Most of Indonesian street food has something to do with peanut sauce, steamed somai fish dumplings, skewered and grilled chicken satay, asinan, kitaprak and gado gado vegetable salad are all served in Indonesia's favorite peanut sauce. Characteristics Street vendors are common sight in Indonesian street, in addition to hawkers peddling their goods on bicycles or carts. These carts are known as pedagang kaki lima, named after five-foot-width sidewalks which they occupied. Another popular theory suggests that the term kaki lima is also named after the sum of the feet, pushcarts with three feet, two wheels and a stabilizer wooden foot, and the two-footed vendors who push them. There are two methods of street food selling in Indonesia, mobile traveling, as a food cart and stationed, such as in a food booth. Food hawkers on push carts or bicycles might be traveling on streets, approaching potential buyers through frequenting residential areas whilst announcing their presence, or stationing themselves on a packed and busy street side, setting simple seating warung humble shop under a small tarp tent and waiting for customers. Vendors often line busy roads during rush hour to offer their wares to hungry passers-by in need of a snack, such as backpow vendors lining Jakarta's gridlock traffic. In Indonesia, there are many shapes and method of food peddlers, including pikulan which is the seller carrying things using a rod, jerobic, a wheeled food pushcart, and sepeda using a bicycle or a tricycle, a hybrid between a cart and a bicycle. The pikulan is more precisely described as a carrying method by balancing two wooden baskets or cabinets using a pole or a rod on one's shoulder. The food jerobic or Indonesian food pushcarts mostly has similar size and design, yet they are distinctive depends to the type of food being sold. They looks like a wheeled portable cupboard with drawers and glass cabinet to store and display ingredients. Some are completed with a small LPG fueled stove. Baxo pushcart usually has a large aluminium cauldron or pot to boil the meatballs and to contain the broth, while Somai One has a steamer pot. Nasi Goreng and Mie Goreng Cellar has a walk on strong, fired stove, while Satay Cart has a rectangular charcoal fueled barbecue grill instead. These food pushcarts or tricycles might be constructed from a wooden or metal frame, completed with glass windows and aluminium or tin coating. These food peddlers may frequent residential areas to serve potential customers in households in the area. Many of them have their own distinctive call or songs to announce their wares. For example, a satay seller would have a distinctive tae satay yell, the bakso seller would hit wooden kentongan slit drum, bubor ayam seller would hit the side of a soup bowl, whereas mie ayam is announced by hitting a wood block. History Street food has a long history in Indonesian tradition. Some panels of bas-relief on Borobudur describes traveling food and drink vendor, suggesting that the small-scale food entrepreneurship has been established in ancient Java as early as 9th century. The inscriptions dated from Majapahit period circa 14th century also describes food and drink vendor as one of line of works in Javanese society. 
The influences of Chinese street food culture is also visible in Indonesia as early as Dutch colonial era. Numbers of Chinese origin dishes such as various noodles, bakso meatballs, lumpia spring rolls, dumplings and Chinese steamed buns are common in Indonesian urban areas. Numbers of local Indonesian dishes has also become the source of street food variants, as well as foreign influences. Satay for example, is believed started as a street food in the early 19th century, as a local Javanese adaptation of Indian kebabs. On the other hand, Dutch influence is also visible in Indonesian street food scene, especially in cakes, pastry and cookies. School kids' favorite Q-Cubit for example, is a local derivation of Dutch poffertjes. The current proliferation of Indonesia South vigorous street food culture, is also contributed by its demographic condition, the massive urbanization in recent decades. This took place especially in the country's rapidly expanding urban agglomerations in Greater Jakarta, Surabaya, Bandung, Maidan, Palembang, Denpasar, and Makassar. The rapid urban growth in recent decades has opened opportunities in food service sectors. As large numbers of rural population flocked to Indonesia's urban centers, many of them established a street food business. Today, it is easy to find a diverse collection of street food selling dishes from all over Indonesian archipelago, from Madura to Padang Satays, from Bakso Malang to Somai Bandung. In recent years, several new foreign influences also has enriched an Indonesian street food scene. They came from Western influences, especially United States, also from Japan and the Middle East. For example, today it is common to find hamburger, hot dog and sosis bakar, grilled bratwurst sausages, food carts next to traditional bakso meatball pushcart in marketplaces. Street side Turkish kebabs and Japanese takoyaki food stalls also might be found, although they might not be authentic, because of the difficulties to acquire required imported ingredients, plus cheaper price range in Indonesian street food market. The taste also might has been altered to suit local's preferences, such as the addition of hot and spicy sambal chili sauce. Types Dishes Many Indonesian street foods consist of a single meal, which is prepared, composed, mixed or heated in front of the customers per order. In most cities, it is common to see Chinese dishes such as bakami or mie ayam chicken noodles, and bakso meatballs, sold by street vendors and food stalls, often adapted to become Indonesian Chinese cuisine. One common adaptation is that pork is rarely used since the majority of Indonesians are Muslims. Other popular Indonesian street food and snacks are somai and batagar, abbreviated from bakso tahu goreng, pempek, deep fried fish cake, bubur ayam, chicken kanji, bubur kakang hiu, mung beans porridge, satay, nasi goreng, English, fried rice, soto mie, soto noodle, mie ayam, chicken noodle, and mie goreng, fried noodle, taj goreng, mung bean sprouts and noodle salad, asinan, preserved vegetables or fruit salad, laksa, kurik teller, spicy omelet, and seblik. Snacks Indonesian traditional cakes and cookies are collectively called as Q, and the assorted collection of Q sold in marketplace are often called jajanan pasar market munchies. Other street snacks include selection of pancakes such as Q ape and sarabi. It is also common to find Chinese snack, such as bakpeo steamed buns with sweet and savory fillings. Indonesian street side snacks includes goreng and Indonesian assorted fritters, which includes fried tempeh and onkam, tahu goreng, fried tofu, pisang goreng, fried banana, ubi goreng, fried sweet potato, and bakwan, fried dish of bean sprouts and batter. Beverages. The traditional drinks lahong, sugar palm sap, and tuak palm wine are among the oldest street drinks sold by street peddler using large bamboo tubes as liquid container. Indonesian street beverages include iced and sweet beverages, such as es cendal or es davit, es teller, es singkau, es dagar, es champur, es patong, and es puter. These beverages is more a dessert, a cocktail of fruit and snacks rather than a drink, since other than shaved ice it contains a lots of ingredients including fruit bits, tapioca pearls, grass jelly, etc. 
Fruit juices are very popular. Varieties include orange jujuric, guava jus jambu, mango jus manga, soursop jus sursic, and avocado jus alpocat, the last of these being commonly served with condensed milk and chocolate syrup as a dessert-like treat. Durian can be made into ice cream called s durian. Issues Hygiene while most of Indonesian food products served in mid- to upper-scale eating establishments maintain food hygiene standard ranges from good to acceptable Regulated and supervised by Badan Penguasan Obat Dan Makanan, Indonesian Food and Drug Administration Some Warung traditional food stalls and street vendors might have poor hygiene Hygiene remains a problem for sidewalk dining as clean dish washing is seldom practiced due to a lack of running water. The tropical microbes also might contribute to food poisoning cases, especially among foreigners during their stay in Indonesia. It is advisable to choose cooked hot food instead of uncooked room temperature ones sold by street vendors. For example, when consuming food sold by street vendors, consuming hot cooked mie ayam or hot soto soup is much safer than having cold and raw karadik, gado gado salad or fruit rujik. City order Today, it is easy to find large numbers of tarp-tented warung food stalls and jerobic food carts occupying and clogging the Kaki Lima pedestrian sidewalks in Indonesian cities. This might cause walking on the street, especially in Jakarta, is unpleasant and potentially dangerous, as pedestrians are forced to walk on the motorways as the sidewalks are occupied by street vendors. Historically, the island of Java has been well populated, restaurant and street food businesses has been part of its society. Nevertheless, it was the massive urbanization which started in the 1960s that shaped the street food culture of Indonesian cities. As more and more people flock from rural areas into urban centers, new jobs are required. Many of the rural origin workforce are low-skilled and low-educated, thus most of them are absorbed in informal economic activities including street food business. Some of them try their luck to sell the delicacies from their hometown by establishing restaurants, warungs, food stalls, or traveling food carts. That is why in urban centers like Greater Jakarta, one easily discovers various dishes, traditional food and delicacies coming from all over the Indonesian archipelago. From Gado Gado Jakarta, Asinan Bogor, Bakso Malang, Sat Madura, Sat Padang, Pempek Palambang to Somai Bandung, nevertheless, the tremendous occupation of sidewalks by the Kaki Lima vendors, including street food sellers, has led to other urban and societal problems. As municipal authorities try to free the pedestrian sidewalks and ease the congestion on the street, numbers of disputes erupt between city authorities and street vendors Indonesian, Pedagang Kaki Lima or PKL. This led to the call for city administration to regulate street food vendors in their area. Gallery Indonesian street food See also Hong Kong street food Street food of Thailand List of Indonesian dishes List of street foods Regional street food References Further reading Miller, Keith Ruskin 2003. Indonesian Street Food Secrets, A Culinary Travel Odyssey. Hockabinkler Press Ltd. ISBN 9780972106097. Retrieved July 14, 2016. Pontoya, B. May 9, 2014. Jakarta, to learn a city, look to street food. Rappler. Retrieved July 12, 2016. External links Mark Weens, Indonesian Food, 50 of the Best Dishes You Should Eat Best Street Food in Bali Mark Weens, Indonesian Street Food Tour of Glodok in Jakarta YouTube Video Asian Street Food, Indonesian Street Food, Street Food in Indonesia, Jakarta Street Food 2016 YouTube Video